Hey guys, welcome back to Musical Kinetics and today we'll be talking about the Yamaha Benova again, the YDS100 and today I'm going to be talking about the right application for the YDS100 and because when I got this instrument initially, I was always thinking like, okay, how do I use this instrument? It's marketed as a, as a tool that you can use when you're traveling and then you take this one with you and you practice on your go. And to be honest with you, I have never really taken this with me when I'm traveling and I've never really gotten as much good practice out of it as I would think I should get by using it as a practice tool. But here, I'm gonna show you how to use this guy as a instrument on its own and to make it the best instrument it can possibly be. Let's get into it. And to start off with that, let's start off with the simple fact that the Yamaha Venova is not an instrument it's meant as a toy. It's actually a real instrument. Think about it more like its own brand of instrument that is kind of similar to a saxophone, but it's not a saxophone. So if I start off like... something about this instrument this it has a rich distinct sound it almost sounds like a, a native Chinese flute with a saxophone so think about it not as a saxophone second tier instrument but think about it as an instrument you get add into your mixes like there are so many sound sample packs that pianists have think about this, the Vinova as a sound sample pack for a saxophonist for a wind woodwind player and think about it as how you can incorporate it into its different sounds or use it as its own whole sound. So it can go like this. Like that gives you a more detailed understanding of the sound. Um, I'm gonna give you a few tips on using the Yamaha Venova that probably have not heard before. The first tip is that if you change this mouthpiece, if I replace this mouthpiece with a with a, an alto saxophone mouthpiece, it has a different sound to it. I won't recommend actually doing that completely, but I recommend you trying different mouthpieces out. Um, I don't have a trumpet mouthpiece, but I could have tried one in here and see what kind of sounds I produce with that. And I'm not sure how to do that. The next tip I'm sure you must have seen it in my videos before is by adding the overtone hole, you, add, you can add some very unique sounds to your repertoire. <laughs> Like that so think about the Yamaha Venova as a special effect it's like the it's like the Michael Jordan of basketball or the it's like the R3 move the special move that you only use once in a while Michael Jordan uses it all the time I don't know why I said that in the first place but yeah that's a tip for the Yamaha Venova how to use the Yamaha Venova think of it more as a real instrument don't think of it as a replacement for travels because I never really use this on my travels but then that should give you a better insight on how to play it 